In the previous lesson, we looked at exporting a DXF from a single Fusion 360 sketch. In some workflows, you may have already created or have a need to create a 2D manufactured drawing. DXF or Drawing Interchange Format files can also be exported from Fusion 360's Drawing Workspace. This workflow does have some pros and cons, which we'll discuss throughout this lesson. For starters, we'll need to enter Fusion 360's Drawing Workspace. Head to the Workspaces drop-down list, select the Drawing Flyout, and then choose From Design. Note that you can also create Fusion 360 drawings from your Fusion 360 animation files. This is unlikely to be used for laser cut designs and is best used with exploded views and other workflows. Before entering the drawing workspace, we're prompted to select some details of the drawing sheet. If your drawing is intended solely for the laser cutter, then you can ignore most of these settings as we'll be deleting the title block. The most important setting is the unit of measure. Make sure the units match what you designed the object in so we can set the design to a one-to-one -one scale. Once complete, I'll click OK. We're first prompted to place the base view of our drawing, or the view that all views will reference. Simply click anywhere on the drawing sheet to place the base view. Before clicking OK, we'll want to change the scale in the drawing view dialog to 1 to 1. This will ensure our design is laser cut at the correct size. Let's then click OK. The base view of the phone stand is not the correct orientation, so I'll need to create a projected view. Using the projected view feature, I'll select the base view, followed by moving my mouse upward. This will allow us to click or press enter to place this front view that we need for the laser cutter. When preparing drawings for laser cutters, we must remove any unwanted drawing details. This is one downside to using the drawing workspace for DXF files specific to laser cutting. We need to manually select the title block and hit the delete key. Repeat this process for any remaining borders, base views, or objects that should not be cut by the laser. If needed, you can click and drag on your projected views to move them away from the base view. All you should have left on the drawing sheet is the closed contours to be cut by the laser. Our drawing sheet size does not typically matter, though we can toggle open the sheet settings and select Change Sheet Size. This will allow us to change the size of the sheet if needed. You can increase or decrease the size to ensure everything fits on the sheet. Any objects that run off the edge of the sheet will not export. At any time, click and drag projected or base views to move them around. You may have noticed that I removed the example text with this demo. Text in your designs is another drawback of using the drawing workspace to produce a DXF file. This is because we're not able to bridge the text when letters include an island or negative space. When working with text, it's recommended to use a single sketch approach that we discussed in the previous lesson. Once our scale is correct and our drawing includes only the geometry to be laser cut, we can export it as a DXF file. Simply select the Export dropdown, followed by Export Sheet as DXF. We're then able to set the file name and location before saving it to our local machine. Note that if you have multiple drawing sheets, you will only be exporting the current or active sheet. Those on the personal use license are limited to a single drawing sheet, but those on other licenses may find it helpful to create a drawing sheet specific to the DXF export. In the export dropdown, you may have also noticed the option to export as a DWG file. I recommend using DXF files for laser cutting over the DWG format. DWG is more proprietary and has many different versions. This introduces many variables, including the limited amount of software packages that can read it. Last but not least, remember to check your DXF file by reopening it in Fusion 360 or a graphics program to ensure only the correct geometry was included. To summarize, it's best to use the single sketch DXF export when you don't need a 2D drawing and when you would like to utilize text in your design. Meanwhile, the drawing workspace also allows one to export DXF files, which is handy if you already need a 2D manufactured drawing.
Be sure to delete any title blocks and drawing data that should not be cut by the laser cutter. Keep in mind that DXF files from the drawing workspace do not typically work well when your design includes text.